I realized that we each could make our own little gathering of symptom, symbols of things that we have already changed. The things that we feel good about, looking back on reset buttons we pushed months, weeks, maybe even years ago, that we would want to say, yeah, see that? That's true, I have made that. And on my walks, I have had a deeper connection with God. Yeah, you see that? I have actually read the Bible, or parts of it. And as I've read it, I've thought about how that works for me, to help me see people I know as part of that congregation hanging around with Jesus and John. Do you see that water bottle beside the bottle of wine? Well, that's a choice and a dedication that I made months ago. And with the grace of God, I've been able to stick with it. And now my life is sober and I'm having a deeper relationship with my spirit and my God because of all that that involves. Not everything is a new start. Some of these are wonderful continuations of habits and ways of life that have served you well for a while now. And that's not to be lost in the newness of a new year. But we're still encouraged to push that reset button on how we see each other we have had this as a theme over and over in our life as a denomination. How do we see women? Can they be ministers? Can you imagine that was a heartfelt question for years and years and years? And when I left my last church, I heard a parent explain to their little person, we might get a man. Did you know they can be ministers too? And the look of disbelief on that little face was a blessing and a balm to my soul, I have to tell you. But these questions of how we see, how do we see gay men? Can he be a minister? Can he be a moderator? We reset our vision. And this week, we are invited to once again reset our vision. To imagine everyone we meet, the people we live with, our children and grandchildren, our moms and our dads, our workers and our neighbors, as being part of that gang who went to the water and heard those words, you are my beloved. It's okay to say to God exactly what was beloved. <laughs> to ask ourselves to reset our vision, push back our circle, make our wonderful sense of belonging, baptism, is never less than a sacrament of belonging. Week after week, day after day then, you could say, I am baptized anew when I understand that Christ is in me, with me, beyond me, joining me, and that the blessing of Christ, of creator and spirit, remind me that the world was reset and we are all beloved, part of a community that is holy in God's eyes. May it lift us and fill us and strengthen us anew. Amen.